This is a portable fence from Affordable Portable Products and this is what you receive in your box. You have PVC cut to length, uh, all the sizes you're going to need, and then you will also receive a bag of electric fence wire if you order it with an electric wire in it, uh, bungee cords, and a bag of uh, black PVC parts. So now we'll get into the assembly and I recommend you lay out the pieces that you're going to assemble just to keep yourself from getting confused with it. Uh, you want all your T's, all your crosses, corners, everything lined up. You need six short sections of the uh, pipe with no bell on it and then three of these that have a bell on the end. Those are the bottom of the uh, fence. And I swept out a place on our floor of our barn to give me a nice clean spot to work with. Space out the pieces to how they need to be laid out. Again, helps you keep from making a mistake. And the PVC cement that they send you a can of, if you just lift it up where you can see the dauber there, and just spin the pipe on it. That's more than enough adhesive for it. Put it in, give it a half turn or so, just like putting PVC pipe together. I kind of wipe off, they, they tend to have static, they collect dirt on the end of the pipe. So I kind of hand wipe them off before I put them in. And you just go down here, you see I'm laying out each part so that uh, everybody stays in line. And uh, that I got my bell going on the, the bottom end. One more wipe of uh, the adhesive on there. And uh, then I also, when I get to the assembly of the first post, uh, that's where you want to have a flat work surface. So I'm putting the glue on this one, put it in with it kind of not in line and then push it down on the floor. And you want to do that fairly quick and hold it there for a minute to let it set. Uh, if it's really cold, that will take longer and you'll have a longer work time. So now we're getting the next one ready. And uh, again, keep them slightly out of line push them down, hold it, and there you are. One piece is now assembled. And you just repeat that with uh, the remaining sets of parts that I have sitting in front of me. Again, putting them out so that I see where each piece has got to go. And from this point, I'm going to speed this video up because it's just a lot of repeat of the same thing.
now that we have the posts together, now we've got to put the rails in, and that will be the long pieces without a bell end that were in the box, and you'll need six of them. Uh, I've got them sitting off to the side there, and again, it's good to lay the stuff out to make sure you don't get something where you don't want it. And uh, I have all my parts ready. And just like before, this will be uh, yeah, space things out. And uh, here you only really can twist the tube the first time you put it in. And if I didn't say it before, when you put these in, you want to be sure and push them in to get them to seat all the way in. There is a stop for them to come up against. So we'll uh, start by gluing this together and you'll see that I will end up putting this up on its end to, to push the pieces on. And uh, I'm just going to speed this through and we'll cut in where I need to. So I'm going to jump in here right towards the end. We've uh, just wanted to point out we've had these uh, panels for several years now. Uh, used them several seasons and uh, the assembly that I did has never come apart and uh, I just wanted to point that out. And of course the usual thing of uh, since I'm actually working on trying to grow my channel, if you liked what you saw, if you could hit a like and uh, subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. And there will be a part two of this uh, right after I get done editing this one that will cover installing the uh, electric wire that uh, you can add to your panels. And uh, I have a little bit different way of doing it than what the instructions said. I uh, kind of like how it came out. So I will show that on the next video. Thank you for watching.